Hey, I'm Vic's dad. And I'm Tiki. And we just jumped right into this. Oh yeah, we did. So in the last video, we made some daiquiris, and for the most part, they were pretty good. But you know what wasn't so good was the Hemingway daiquiri. Oh yeah. Which I bought this Luxardo maraschino liqueur specifically for. So I thought to myself, you know, we used this much of it. What the hell can we do with it? So I looked up five different recipes and we're gonna go ahead and make them. Some sound better than others, but let's just jump right into it with the aviation. So for the aviation, we obviously need this maraschino liqueur. We also need gin. Yeah, grab the good stuff. We'll use the good stuff, we'll use some Hendrix. And we need a lemon. One of those. And then we need some creme de violet. Creme de violet. And this is a shaking cocktail, so we will be using the Boston shaker here. And to start off, we need one knife. Whoop. Thank you, sir. You know, oh, I've fucked up terribly. This lemon does not want to give up its juices. I don't know what is happening over here. All right, so this recipe, I should probably run through some of the ingredients here. Obviously, we got lemon juice. Spilled a bit on the mat. <sighs> okay. So this recipe calls for one and a half ounces of gin, a whole shot's worth, half ounce of lemon juice. Um, here, you hold on to that. Three quarters of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Now the weird thing about this is just the lid. I don't know if you can see the lid. It's like it has its own sort of diffuser. So I said three quarters of an ounce, that's a lot. Okay, and then a quarter ounce of creme de violet. I'm probably butchering that. It's floral liqueur, quarter ounce. That's like nothing. Whoa, my God, it's so purple. Whoa, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that's pretty dope. So that's everything. Now we shake over ice. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, we have five cocktails to make. We have seven ice cubes, my bad. But you know, just when you make these at home, use more ice than what we're doing. Yes. Be prepared. Ice. I will use one single cube for this. Oh wow. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna share one cube per drink. So, shake this up. It sounds so wimpy. It sounds awful. Really put some work into this one. All right. And then you strain into a chilled martini glass. It smells kind of like lavender. Well, it turned out purple. Sweet. <laughs> no surprise there. Awesome. All right. Okay. Would you care to make one of your own? Let's do it. Okay. So we got what? Likely a half ounce, half of, ounce lemon of lemon juice. juice. Yep. We'll say that this is a half ounce of lemon juice. It's just left over from the other. Half ounce of creme de voilette. This is just so weird. Then we got three quarters of an ounce of maraschino. Look at me acting like I know my stuff. And then how much of that? We got uh, an ounce and a half. We got a shot mm -hmm. of gin. The rest of the bottle. And now shake. Is that it? Yeah. Shake with the one ice cube that's still in there. I'm curious how this is gonna be. I have no ice cube left. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'll just pour it all directly in there because there's no ice cube. May as well. It's okay. Good. And with that, we have the aviation. Are you ready for liftoff? No. Fair enough. Cheers. <laughs> oh God, I forgot what it smelled like. That smell, yeah. That's I like lavender and cinnamon. Yeah, I was gonna say, I smell a lot of the maraschino liqueur. Cheers. Whoa! I actually don't mind it. It's not bad. It tastes very flowery. I taste flower and lemon. So yeah, it's kind of like a lavender taste, with a little bit of lemon, and uh, at least of mine, like a hint of cinnamon. Thanks for taking over there while I was just <laughs> taken aback. I'll agree with everything you said. It's very cinnamon forwards. My chest is burning. I feel that too. Yeah, not having a heart attack. It's just, it hits you right in the chest. Yes, no, like literally right here, I feel it. <laughs> I've never had a drink hit me like that. That's weird. I don't know what lavender tastes like, but I'll agree that it tastes like lavender. <laughs> it tastes like lavender. I tried yeah. some of the maraschino liqueur on its own. Have oh you, yeah? Did you try any of it on no. its own? No. It's very strong, it's very potent. I don't think I actually enjoy it. So this video might be rough. Um, well, so far this one isn't so bad. He doesn't like it. I think it's not not too bad. It's pretty okay. I could get through it. I don't know if he can. I can probably slam it. And then it's gonna slam me right back. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the drink that fights you. I mean, it's fairly strong. I will say this. I don't taste the gin. For yes, all. I do not taste the gin at all. <laughs> for better or for worse, the gin is not very heavy, despite being the majority of this drink. If you slam it, I'll slam it. All right, let's slam it. Slam it. That was easier. You know, somehow it was. <clears throat> I'm trying not. Uh, and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that was the aviation cocktail. We took flight. I'm trying to think of any words here that are pleasant about our, it. Our heartburn took flight. <laughs> oh, I can say that again. Um, yeah, no, I mean, your initial impressions pretty much nailed it. Like, yeah. very cinnamon forwards, a yep. little bit of lavender aftertaste. The lemon cuts through just to make it not super cinnamon, I guess. Yeah, it kind of evens off the, the bitter notes. Yeah. It makes it a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Which is hilarious because lemons aren't that sweet, but <laughs> the lemon brought the sweetness there. Yeah. A little bit of that creme de uh, violet or however it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. That little bit of that um, actually, I think, also sort of softened the blow. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I don't even know what this is other than floral it's liqueur. Floral. And it's a product of Austria. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we're going to move on now because I want to get something else in my mouth. That's fair. We're gonna move on to one of my not so favorites. It's an improved whiskey cocktail. Okay. It's literally what it's called. So what All we right. need for this is a lot of shit. You tell me. <laughs> okay. We need some bourbon. Bourbon. Obviously we need maraschino liqueur. We need simple syrup. We need absinthe. We need bitters, both kinds. Now technically this calls for Angostura and Peychaud's? bitters. So we got some orange bitters here. It's probably not the same at all, but we're gonna roll with it. It'll be fine. Yeah. And then, we should have cut that lemon. We do need a lemon for this, but we just need the peel of it. Mmm. So in order to make this drink, because this is a whiskey drink, we're going to be making it in the cocktail glass here. And because it calls for a teaspoon of absinthe, we will be using this lovely bar spoon here. So for the improved whiskey cocktail, we need two ounces of bourbon. Today we are using Buffalo Trace. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Boom. <clears throat> it's got a cork. It's two ounces of this in the glass, not around the glass. So you got two ounces of bourbon, and then you want a quarter ounce of maraschino liqueur. That's a more reasonable amount. I'm surprised it's only a quarter ounce. There's a lot of shit going in this. That was slightly more than a quarter that ounce. That was. That I, was closer to a half. It's like a third teaspoon of absinthe. Fun fact about absinthe, I don't drink it anymore. So for a teaspoon, you can actually just use a bar spoon. This is about one milliliter, and I think that's about a teaspoon, right? Uh, probably. Let's find out. Let's fact add. check. Yeah. 4.9. There's five milliliters in a teaspoon? Yes. <sighs> okay, so you're gonna want five bar spoons of absinthe. I thought we were just gonna do one. We could have just grabbed a normal spoon. That's a teaspoon, but this is more fun. We're just gonna do that much more, because I feel like that's five. And if it's not, I won't be sad. Then you want a quarter ounce of simple syrup. I'm gonna do a little bit more than quarter, because fuck it. And then we want two dashes each of both of our bitters here. One, two, oh, oh. oh. So you do that, and then you fill this halfway with ice, so. So like two cubes maybe? Yes. How am I gonna do this? You use the same cubes. And then you wanna take your bar spoon, and you don't have to use an actual bar spoon. But bar spoons are nice because look at all of this extra length I've got to work with here. All right, so then what you wanna do is you wanna just kinda stir it about a dozen or so times. And you see the spiral actually helps you just keep the stir going. Cause when you're stirring a drink, it's very different from shaking. You, you want the ice to cool the drink, but you don't want as much dilution. Interesting, I'm learning. Yeah, all right, so there's that. And then you wanna strain into an old fashioned glass over an ice cube. Now, number one, I don't have the correct type of strainer for this, but this will work. And number two, I don't have a large ice cube. As discussed, we don't have ice. And then, you're not done yet. You wanna take your lemon, and you wanna take a peeler, and you just peel off a nice bit of that. That's not as much that as rind. I was hoping for. Fuck, that just went on the ground. So you wanna get a nice big peel there. Don't drop it on the ground. I threw it on the ground! No, I said don't do that. Take your lemon peel here, you take a glass, and then you just kind of squeeze and wipe and dunk. Oh. Squeeze, get that aromatic in. You want to wipe the glass too, just get that, get that lemon going. That's really what you want. Yeah, that actually smells really good. Now nice. it's your turn. All right, <laughs> so I'm doing what? Two ounces of whiskey. Yep. Kentucky straight bourbon. So we got two ounces of bourbon. We got a quarter ounce of maraschino liqueur. Yeah, this stuff smells, ugh. I'll second that. How much uh, simple syrup? A uh, quarter ounce. And then two dashes of both types of bitters. One. Ugh. Yeah, you show those right. bitters. Ugh. There we go. And I need- Five bar spoons of five absinthe. Five bar spoons of absinthe. It seems like a lot. 
And then you want to stir that up. Right, as I set the spoon down, I need to stir it. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, you're right. The spiral really does help. Yeah, wow. It, it kind of just rotates. You just do that and the spoon does all the work. But yeah, there is a specific type of strainer that you're supposed to use with that. There's a picture of it. There's a picture of it. I don't know where we have blank space to put a picture up. Um, it's not a Hawthorne strainer, it's a different type of strainer. It's called a mint julep strainer, I think, or just a julep strainer. Basically, it's just a flat, well, kind of concave, flat piece of metal with a bunch of holes in it. I don't really know why that's preferred to the Hawthorne strainer when it comes to this. Strainer, please. Yep. Thank you. Strain. Yeah, you just want to get, get yourself some lemon peel. That went straight into the drink. Oh man, that was hilarious. <laughs> you're you're supposed to do some, some I'm parts to do before some, that. Yeah. You're supposed to like squeeze and waft. And Here really we go. Get squeeze. it going. Around. Don't forget to like rub it around the whole rim. Oh shoot. <laughs> there are professionals on YouTube who make it look so much fancier. Yeah, you know this looks so fancy. It honestly does though. If we had a just because of literally because there's lemon peel in there. I mean, if we had a big ass ice cube in there, it would look better. But if, for the most part, this just straight up looks like whiskey Ooh. though. Oh, I definitely. At first it smelled good. Now it's starting to smell worse. <laughs> you mostly smell the whiskey at first, and then <laughs> upon further like dissection of it, you pick up the maraschino and the absinthe. So uh, yeah, cheers. The improved whiskey cocktail. Cheers. Clink. Okay, let's see here. The absinthe is taking over. Yep, I basically taste absinthe. Ah. A little bit of maraschino, but I mainly taste absinthe. Yeah, once again, the <laughs> the main liquor is not the priority ingredient as far as a flavor profile. The, the maraschino is... takes over, but the absinthe... It's so strong. Yeah. Maybe it's just the kind of absinthe that we've got, but it's strong. Granted, well, I guess this wouldn't have anything to do with the flavor of it, but... It's 50%, it's 100 proof. Yeah, but absinthe is usually that strong. That's fair. And then, I'm trying to not just make guttural animal noises here and like come up with some actual words, but I feel like I've already said what needs to be said. The whiskey, like, this is one of few whiskey drinks where I'm not recoiling in horror because of the whiskey. The whiskey is actually completely unaffecting me right now. Yeah, that's an interesting blend. I honestly, I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. It's kind of like if you put a little bit of cinnamon into like Jägermeister. I hate like, how accurate that description is. It's, that's what I'm feeling. Like that's what it seems like it tastes like to me. I don't know how else to describe it. It tastes like Jäger. Yeah. With just a little bit of like fireball mixed in. Cause it is whiskey too, so. You made this worse. Like it was already <laughs> bad and then you're talking about Jaeger and, and fireball. fireball. <laughs> and now I don't even want to be in the same room as it. Okay, I, I got oh, myself college. a chaser here cause I'm just gonna slam this. Ooh, this I is love one of those, lemon. This is another one of those weird ass lemons where there's just a shit ton of rind. They only show uh, up when we're doing videos. Yeah, right? Like well, the, I know you're gonna hate it, but take another sip. Like the the smell is a weird combination of everything that's in it. The the simple syrup rounds it out a little bit. I think mainly because we rubbed the lemon peel on the rim, I'd get a really nice hint of lemon right off the bat. Yeah, but that's not what it tastes like. No, don't be deceived. Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. No, I I stand uh, by what I. Sorry, go go on. I stand by what I said earlier. Basically tastes like Jaeger and Fireball. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take one more sip here before I just slam this and I'm just gonna walk you through my uh, thought process here without making sounds. So initially it's pretty smooth. Then you get the cinnamon and it's, it's, it starts creeping into Fireball territory, but then the absinthe really takes over and ugh. That was a great description. <laughs> I think enough has been said. I'm just gonna lick this lemon real quick. Yeah, what are your thoughts? I'd rather lick the lemon. Yeah. I'm... The lemon tastes good. So, improved whiskey cocktail. Not improved. I don't know what we're improving on. <laughs> I don't know what the previous recipe was. I'm sorry for whoever made it, but just for us personally, not improved. Yes. And I will at, stick with my old fashions. <laughs> at the end, I will tell you my source for these. I think I have a source. Um, I don't know. You just Google it. Cheers to the hell that is this cocktail. Woo! Somehow worse than the first. Why did I inhale while drinking? Ugh. I don't think I can finish the little bit that's left. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Waste it. I don't care. Oh. There's nothing in that drink that I hold valuable. That was bad. I want to say it was good. But it, it wasn't great. I want to say it wasn't a waste of time. But it was.
It was a great learning experience. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's get a white table, I said. It'll look clean, I said. I mean, it does. Yeah, till I get to it. All right, so now we have I feel like I should have saved this one for last, but whatever. We have the last word now. And this one's interesting because it's three ingredients, three equal parts. So what you have in this one is, again, maraschino liqueur. The guest star of the show, basically. And then gin. Between, between the two of them. No, not that. Okay. Well, I mean, that one's basically empty. So <laughs> yeah. we got extra gin, some good old Bombay. All right, so yeah, this is just three ingredients. Oh. Equal parts, three quarter ounce gin, three quarter ounce maraschino liqueur, and three quarter ounce Green chartreuse. How do I make this? Okay, so this one's easy. Get your cocktail shaker, get your lids. Get your lids off. And throw them. Don't throw them away. So, three quarter ounce of that. I haven't actually tried any of this. This is my first time trying it ever. I don't like how much maraschino liqueur is in this. Ooh. You might be able to get most of this. Shake over ice. I don't like the smell of that. We have one ice cube that is rapidly melting. Okay, get your ice, shake the shit. Put it in frame, pour it out. That's not much. That's also not much. That's uh, gonna also need, like really not much. You're gonna need another ice cube, bud. Just to recap, it's a real easy recipe. Three quarters of everything. Oh, the smell of this. It sounds so pathetic. You know, I was hoping this video would be like the vodka video, but it's not, because I hate this video. I, oh. Yeah, w w what's the smell that you're getting? Because I'm afraid. Okay, so it's kind of like... Oh. <laughs> Whoa. So that it's is... kind of like cinnamon, but a little bit of like a, a cream. You're getting a lot of the uh, chartreuse Ooh, in there as that, well. The chartreuse on its own like that, at least from the bottle like that right there, smells like oregano <laughs> or something. Like it smells like some herb. Honestly, yeah, actually. Which is interesting. And now I smell it more in the drink. <laughs> Before I smelled just the chartreuse, Although, it was mostly smelling like maraschino liqueur, which mostly smells like cinnamon. Yeah, I was gonna, I didn't really know how to place it. I'll agree with yeah. oregano. <clears throat> it smells like oregano and uh, cinnamon and... It's not a combination that I gin. wanna drink. No, I'm not super excited for it either. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Why do we do this? <laughs> yeah, I hate that. I don't like that. Ah, I I'm, can't. I can't drink that. Ah, no. Ah, <laughs> ah. I'm not gonna puke. I'm not having a good time though. It's not good. What the fuck is that? It's not great. Why? I'll try another sip, but it's not great. This is one of those drinks where when you buy chartreuse, people are like, "Oh, dude, your first cocktail should be like a last word or something." Why? Why no. are you people saying that? What, who, who is this drink for? Again, this is all subjective. Yes. You might love it, but we don't. <laughs> you know, you're right. <clears throat> I'm, I'm throwing too much of myself in here. I'm, I'm going to try to be more objective here and not just go blah. Um, I don't really know. It mainly, when I taste it though, it tastes like gin, which I'm not a huge fan of gin. It has this weird watery taste to me. I, mean, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but... You also use some Bombay. Not a whole lot, but... Yeah, not very much. It's some rough stuff. I'm gonna literally have to take a sip and walk you through what's going through my mind. Do it. Do yeah. it. Because there's no way I can just be like, Oh yeah, this is good. Like, I, I noticed this and this and this. Because, no. No. This is what I notice. Yes. Hang on, there's like 75 different things happening and my, my mouth can't operate with that when the shit's in my mouth. It starts out like gin. It starts out with that Christmas tree sort of taste and then immediately dives into horrible, painful cinnamon and then follows that with some weird ass herbs and oregano and shit. That's fair. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That's at least what I was able to recover from my memory there. Ugh. I can give you one more real-time analysis, maybe. Yeah, I might try one, too. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you do yours first, please. Give me a second to breathe. Okay, so that time, with, with that little taste there, I basically tasted maraschino liqueur with a little bit of herb. Basically exactly what he said, except for minus the gin. 
I didn't taste it that time, but the first couple times I took a sip, I did. And then it basically did exactly what I just said. It's not super great for me personally or for him personally. It's not great, but some people may love it and super enjoy it. And that's totally fine. Yeah. We just don't. Sorry, I, I dropped a knife and stabbed myself off camera. What? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna do another slam this because I don't like wasting alcohol because I spent good money on this. That's the only reason. It's no principle of, oh, you can't waste alcohol. No, I, I fucking spent my money on this. I'm gonna get my money's worth, even if it's horrible. But I'm gonna slam mine here and then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna dump this out quick. Yeah, I need to rinse this out too. I can't, bleh. I gotta suck the juice, bruh. <sighs> that last one was rough. That yeah, last that one was, was real rough. That was pretty rough. I'm at the point where I, I look at the next recipe and I see maraschino liqueurs and ingredients and I'm like, no. But that's what this whole thing's about, so we gotta move on. So the next thing we're making is a Brooklyn cocktail. Okay. Now this thing calls for maraschino liqueur. Of course. It calls for some bourbon or rye whiskey. So we're gonna go back to that Kentucky bourbon straight, whatever. Kentucky straight bourbon. A Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Then we need, oh, do we need? We need some dry vermouth. Which this is extra dry vermouth, but it is dry. Next we need some Amaro. Tiki is my lovely assistant. I am, I don't giving, have to do I am your assistant because you know what's going on and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bold statement to make. And then we need, yeah, no, that's everything actually. It's a four ingredient cocktail. No sweetness. Sweet. Sweet victory. Sweet victory, yeah. Probably the best song to come out of SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, so once again, we're doing two ounces of our bourbon whiskey. And you know, there's probably some cross contamination going on here. It don't matter. We get the general gist. We're getting the rough idea of it. We're trying to do it quickly and I, it's five drinks, so. <laughs> yeah, so you got two ounces of bourbon and then you want a whole ounce of your dry vermouth. Which we have extra dry, but use dry if you've got it. It's making glugging noises. Yeah. And I don't want it to. This stuff smells like wine. It is wine. Vermouth is a type of fortified That's... wine. All right, there we go. <laughs> this already smells horrendous. I think I'm just smelling the whiskey and I don't really like whiskey. I do. So I haven't minded it so far. <laughs> then you got yourself a quarter ounce of uh, Amaro. Now I wish I could tell you a whole bunch about the backstory of this, but to be honest, I don't really know what it is. None of this is in English, but it's a prodotillo in Italia. Oh, it's Italian. Then a quarter ounce of your maraschino liqueur. That's the only That's appropriate an, amount. It's an acceptable amount. It's still slightly more than I would like. Great, so you combine the ingredients Oh, this is a stirring drink, my bad. That's an interesting color. I mean, again, it looks like whiskey. It's like crimson. Do we have one cube? Okay, we got two, two cubes. cubes. Okay, we got two more cubes and two more drinks, so here we go. We'll see what happens. The last drink is gonna be fine. The last drink is gonna be great. There's Sweet. no way it can be bad. Okay. It might be bad. So yeah, you wanna just take your, uh, take your Brooklyn cocktail here and just stir it for a bit. And then once you're sure that it's cold enough, it's not gonna be cold enough for us. We're speeding it along. Once you're sure that it's cold enough, you pour it in your glass. And out of your glass. And there you got your Brooklyn cocktail. Yeah, um, you're supposed to garnish this with a Luxardo cherry. I don't have those. Yeah, we don't have that. It's fine, it's a garnish, it doesn't matter. So now, it's your turn. All right, I don't, two ounces of bourbon, correct? Mm -hmm. Haha, -ha, maybe I do remember. And then a quarter ounce of the other two. You forgot an ounce of something. I'm gonna make a half. So when you make a half, what you want to do is one ounce of bourbon. Then you want a half ounce of dry vermouth. A vermouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole. Um. And then you want a eighth of an ounce of your Amaro. Did you just see that? I saw and heard everything that just happened. All right. And that's it. Did you just... put your maraschino liqueur in there? How much? An eighth of an ounce. Eighth of an ounce. Okay, and then yeah. I stir with my little ice cube. Next video, we're gonna have like 32 ice cubes. We'll have a lot. I'm making that promise now because next video is episode 10. That's a big milestone. So 32 for, because 10. Then you pour it out. It's a very dark looking drink. 
Again, it just little, it looks like whiskey. I don't want to drink it. I mean, I like whiskey, but I can smell the maraschino. I want to get drunk, but I don't want to drink this. Uh, yeah, I don't like the smell of that. It very much smells like maraschino liqueur. Man, this just reminds me of Fireball so much. Don't say those words. I know, it's, <laughs> it's cursed. But this isn't Fireball. This is a Brooklyn cocktail. Cheers to Brooklyn. Mm. He got down. Ugh. He got down on his knees. Ugh. And he pleaded with God. <laughs> Take this taste away from my mouth. <laughs> okay. That tasted like whiskey to me. I fully believe you. Ugh. I think that's my problem. Main, mainly it tasted like whiskey. I got a little bit of cinnamon from it, from the maraschino liqueur. But mainly... Honestly, just tasted like whiskey, not on the rocks. Slightly diluted, but not on the rocks. Where do I begin? It tastes like an oak barrel, but it went bad, and someone rubbed cinnamon all over it. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I could see that. It, yeah, it tastes like whiskey with a little bit of cinnamon. Yep. Yeah, I'm taking one more sip before I improve this so I can down it. Um, starting to slur. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, Initial flavor profile, it does not smell like Fireball. It smells like whiskey, majority whiskey. You sniff it, you smell whiskey, and then you sip it. You get that initial burn of whiskey. Oh, you get that follow-up burn of whiskey. And then there's a hint of cinnamon that's not doing anything good for you. It's just made of, I don't wanna call it bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's incredibly bitter. After ooh, the aftertaste really develops an interesting bitterness, and I think that's part of the amaro, amaro, amaro. We're gonna go with amaro. If I'm wrong, I don't care, because I know that is supposed to be a very bitter liqueur. It almost smells slightly, ever so slightly, like absinthe. It's it's incredibly bitter. There's nothing sweet about this. If you enjoy sweet drinks and only sweet drinks, stay the fuck away from this. I'll try to walk you through whatever I'm tasting, but it's probably not gonna be much, honestly, from what I was tasting before. Yeah, you explain what you've got going on and I'm gonna make this so I like it. So, smell wise, I mainly smell whiskey. I smell a little bit of the maraschino liqueur. I don't really smell the uh, Amaro very much, uh, but let's take a sip. Whiskey. It tastes like whiskey with a slight tinge of like cinnamon. That's a that's about all I got. I will say I did make a half instead of a full. Not that that really changes much or anything at all, but I did make half. Yeah, the only change is how much you have. I mainly tasted whiskey and then tasted a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm, it's not horrible. I can drink the whiskey on its own, but I'm just not a huge fan of the cinnamon taste. That's exactly what it's like. The problem is I don't really like whiskey. And so the fact that it is, the majority of the flavor you're getting is whiskey with a little bit of everything else. And the everything else isn't super, um, appealing to me. That's the nicest way I can say that. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I've just added an entire lemon into this. Oh wow, okay, let me know how that is. Adding a little bit of simple syrup here. About a half ounce, just enough to round it out. And then I don't have any uh, Cointreau down here, but orange bitters will do three dashes of those. I'm just fucking freestyling over here. I don't have any ice to shake this with. That would make it better. I don't even care. And it's messy. I don't care. That smells better from here. <laughs> Looks way more orange and cloudy. And? Still very bitter. Okay. Still very bitter. But the lemon cuts through. It doesn't make it taste lemony. It just makes it taste less potent overall. The simple syrup helps round out it, round it around. Round it around the bend. The simple syrup helps round it out a little bit as well. And overall, I still wouldn't make this, but it's getting better. Like I can slam this and it'll be fine. And you added what? Uh, lime, or sorry, not lime, lemon and simple syrup. Did you add anything else? No, I just add, well, I added an entire lemon, the juice of one lemon. I added a half ounce of simple syrup and then three dashes of orange bitters. If I had Pontra, I would have done like three quarters of an ounce of that. This is fine too. I can slam this. So we're on to the last drink. Yeah, and the last drink has champagne. So we're gonna cut to us fucking savoring a bottle. So oh, yeah. enjoy that. So I'm not gonna go super into detail here because for legal reasons, I'm probably supposed to say, don't try this at home. So you wanna get your sword 
and ideally you want to use the blunt edge. Now, if it doesn't happen the first time, it's probably not going to happen. And it's not happening to the backup bottle. Backup bottle. I'm so upset. We're going to try this again, see if bottle number two works out. We're going to operate on the assumption that this sword just doesn't work for that. This is just a chef knife. So we're going to try this and see if it works. You've got to be kidding me. That was a nice hit too. It was. Grab the other bottle. Did I buy two bunk bottles? I'm in frame on this, right? Yep. Okay. Good, because it finally worked. Hey! <sighs> Cheers. Back to the studio. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh. Yeah, when you, when you savor that, you're literally breaking glass, but you're breaking it in a clean way. I'm not saying you should go touch these edges. This is the first time I've ever actually tried it and they're surprisingly smooth. Last drink. I'll be right back. So on to the number 100 cocktail. Sorry, the number 100 champagne cocktail. We don't have champagne glasses because we're fucking low class. These are plastic beer cups that you've seen in previous episodes, but it doesn't matter. Let me catch my breath and then we can move on because I fucking ran. <laughs> so what you want to do is put this aside because it's the last step. Uh, you need maraschino liqueur. Of course. And then you need, you need lemon juice. Turns out there was one more recipe that called for a lemon. As he cuts in the background. So. It's funny how the more I drink, the less accurate my cuts get. So what you want to do is you want to get your shaker and you want to make sure that none of the hell juice is already in it. The hell juice is what I'm calling the previous cocktails that we drank. That's how I feel about it. They haven't been super great. I'll be honest. They've been absolutely horrible, but they haven't been fantastic. I can tell you this, you know, some episodes we've done, I've had some recipes where I'm like, Ooh, yeah, I'm going to do that again. None of that has happened this entire night. Yeah. I don't want to re revisit any of this. So for the number 100 champagne cocktail, you need a half ounce of lemon juice. You want to match that with a half ounce of maraschino liqueur. I don't want to match it, but that's what the recipe calls for. So then you take those two ingredients and then you take the last ice cube that you have. That's half melted. And then you shake this shit. So then you want to take this and then you want to pour this into your champagne flute, which today is beer glass. Yes. A tasting glass. And would you look at that? That's your liquor. Your turn. All right. We got what? About a quarter of a, an ice cube. Something like that. Yeah. You, you really don't have anything. Okay. We got our lemon. We got our uh, half ounce of lemon, half ounce of uh, maraschino liqueur. And then I, th there's like no point to shaking it up, but I'm going to shake it up. I have no ice. And there we go. It looks like I somehow have a little bit less than you, Vic's dad. Then you garnish. Ooh, a garnish with a little lemon slice. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a twist of lemon. Yeah, I don't know what a I twist got of lemon rind, is. But... We're just going to work with this. But then the part. Your camera died. But now we've got the Prosecco. Where the hell did it go? It's up here. All right, so then, you know, you take your Prosecco, however you opened it, you got it. In our case, we sabered it with a chef knife because the sword didn't the work. The sword didn't work. Sadly. We tried, but then you just top it off. Just fill to the brim. Get all with the your bubblies. Prosecco. Get the bubblies. Doesn't really say to stir it. Be it just says top it off with your Prosecco or champagne or whatever. Cheers. Cheers to the number 100 champagne cocktail. Clink, Ooh. because these are plastic. They're plastic. Oh, it smells like maraschino. It does, but it doesn't taste like it as much. It oh. tastes mostly like wine, well, uh, sparkling wine and lemon, at least in mine. I'm going to throw a controversial opinion out there. Maraschino liqueur tastes like bile. It straight up tastes like vomit. That's what I taste when I drink this. The lemon juice doesn't help because it adds that aci acidity. acidity from your, you know, stomach acid. <laughs> this is the most drinkable drink of them all, but the fact that it tastes like vomit doesn't really help the other four cocktails. That's my opinion. You know, I'm not going to give you a 100% walkthrough because that's where I'm at. It just kind of tastes like throw up. You me, go. it tastes like cinnamon flavored lemon wine, and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like that you said that because I, I can under, oh, yep. I'm somewhere between cinnamon flavored lemon wine and bile. 
And honestly, the two aren't really like that far off from each other. But um, yeah, the number 100 cocktail. That's the most drinkable tonight. Yeah, like you said. It's the most drinkable because it's mostly Prosecco. Yep. With a little bit of hint of cinnamon. Lemon. Yeah. Sorry if this has not been your uh, maraschino liqueur is great video. Yeah, I we, was... It's just like we said, it's personal preference. We just haven't really enjoyed it as much as maybe some people will. Some people might be all about it. Like you, you might try it and you're like, oh, this is the shit. And if you're that person, I envy you because this has been a goddamn nightmare. Like, I'm just gonna take this bottle of Prosecco. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I poured it wrong and it was gonna overflow if I didn't do that. But honestly, that two seconds of terror and gulping was probably <laughs> the best enjoyable most. It was the best moment of tonight. It's not great. This was like $12, but um, yeah, so yeah. Now, now's the point of the video where we rate them in order, right? That's the thing we do. Oh no. Uh-huh. So just to recap here. So tonight we, we experienced the aviation, the improved whiskey cocktail, the last word, the Brooklyn cocktail, and then the number 100 champagne cocktail. Uh, What's your list looking like? Because if you need a minute, I can tell you mine. Number uh, one. Go ahead. Number one is the number 100 champagne cocktail because it was mostly not the maraschino flavor profile happening. <laughs> wow. If that came out of me. That was amazing. Um, number one was the number 100 champagne cocktail. Number two, dude, I don't even know. Okay, here, let me see. So I would say number one was the number 100 champagne cocktail, like Fixed I was just saying. And then number two, I'd actually say was the aviation. Uh, cause it wasn't too bad. It was a little bit bitter, but also sweet. It, it was, it was drinkable. Um, then I would say probably, ooh, maybe the, honestly, I'm not sh probably, probably the Brooklyn cocktail after that. Then maybe the improved whiskey cocktail as, uh, what would that be? It's number four. And then number five last would be the last word. I was not a big fan of that by a long shot. <laughs> it's something with the... The gin and the maraschino liqueur just didn't sit well with me. This is really hard to go into after the fact. Number 100 is number one. I said that, I'm pretty sure I've said that and I'm gonna say it again. It was number one because it was mostly bubbly. Number two, I kind of hated all of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Put them in order, you got this. All right, yeah. Number one, number 100. Number two, improved a whiskey cocktail because it wasn't great, but it was still better than some of the others. Number three, aviation. Honestly, it's pretty much tied with improved whiskey cocktail. Number four, Brooklyn cocktail. And the number five is gonna have to be the last word. You know, it wasn't great. There was too much maraschino liqueur. One thing that I've understood from just trying maraschino liqueur on its own and from this video is that I don't particularly enjoy it. So we're gonna have to put that as number five, the last word. If you enjoy those flavors, good on ya. Yeah. Which reminds me. This is the part of the video where we try the things we haven't tried yet. Oh no, try I need to use the bathroom that. quick. Here, I'll pour you a quarter ounce of this because I feel like you need to know what maraschino liqueur tastes like. Uh, He's not a fan. I'm not a fan either. I just want to see what he thinks. <coughs> oh, hello, Tiki. <laughs> I... Oh no. I don't like that though. <laughs> it's a quarter ounce of maraschino liqueur. I've already had it. I feel like you need to understand what this flavor is. All right. I've had it before these cocktails. You're gonna have it after the fact. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. <laughs> <laughs> just hearing your your I reaction wish, there, dude. I wish I could give you more than an evil laugh. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, oh man! All right, here we go. You're gonna understand everything about all the drinks. Why? I don't like that. It could not be like maraschino cherries necessarily, but from knowing maraschino cherries and drinking that, what happened? A lot of cinnamon, <laughs> a lot of cinnamon. Ugh. And you know, if they didn't even put cinnamon in it, then I'm, I have questions. Here. All right, chartreuse. This is chartreuse. This is supposed to be enjoyed neat or with water or with ice cubes or in cocktails. 
Okay. I haven't tried it by itself either, so we're gonna both be jumping into this. I don't want to smell it because I already know it smells like oregano. It still smells like it smells like herbs. It's entire. Oh, it's 133 different herbs and spices and fruits that's, and whatever. That's fair. So let's clink. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. wow! That is potent. Whoa. Yes, that tastes like oregano, or maybe like basil, oregano. I don't know. Tons of herbs. Yeah. So chartreuse. It tastes like herbs. Ugh. I'm not saying that in a good way. I'm just saying that in a uh, objective know. way. Yeah. It literally does taste like herbs. It tastes like all the leafy green things that you have on your kitchen counter thrown into a liquor. Yeah. <laughs> like, like straight up. I will not be enjoying that neat. I will not be enjoying that on the rocks. I will be looking up recipes to drown it out. That's where I'm at. I don't know where you're at. <laughs> kind of about the same. It might actually make a nice food garnish though. It might like make... used in some like cooking. I could see that. Yeah. It might also be great as like a sour. Like mix that and some lemon or lime juice and some sh simple syrup. Maybe. Might be okay. I don't entirely feel confident about that statement. So that was five different cocktails that you could make with maraschino liqueur. We need Jesus in here. Jesus is everywhere. He has escaped this basement. <laughs> what just happened? Why? Why? So we got this big ass sheet right here. And we got this big ass sheet right here. Except now we don't, because it just fucking fell.